what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys this is going to be more of a longer video i'm telling you right now it's probably going to be a boring ass video um but it is what it is day in the life i'm just building my business and and simply taking pieces of my day and just sharing it with you guys um i just simply uh purchased a domain so first thing i did is i went over to google here's how you can get a discount on your first domain um you can go to Google, you could type in cheap domains. And this is a hack that I always do to tell you the truth. As long as you register it with a different email um, and a different credit card, you can pretty much qualify for this a lot of the times. Um, Google cheap domains and you come down here to the ad, right here, GoDaddy ad for 99 cents and you just get the domain for a buck for the first year. And then after that, it's obviously the normal 14, 15, 17 bucks a year, whatever it is, um, the standard. But at least for the first year, you know, you can get it for 99 cents. So I just purchased a new domain, um, which I'm fired up about because this is going to be like a mini course, just a, a course for beginners um, for YouTube. And I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat qualified to, to teach this because now at the making of this video, I'm a little over uh, 2,100 subscribers so shout out to every single one of you you have no idea how much you guys mean to me i truly appreciate you for sure one thousand percent um and so at the making of this i'm at 2100 and so i'm going to put together a simple basic beginner course and this is the domain that i purchased um your first 1000 subs.com so it's going to be a simple beginner course teaching you how to get your first 1000 subscribers and I truly believe that's the that's the hardest for most people because a lot of the times they lack the knowledge on how to on how to do that. I for sure did. I started my channel back in 2017, just playing around with it, not trying to be a YouTuber, not trying to monetize it, not trying to do any of that. I simply started documenting um, day in the life of me building my agency. I started my social media agency in 2016, 2017. And I simply just started pulling out my, my, my cell phone and doing simple vlog style videos talking about my day, how I closed my recent client, you know, how I messaged, messaged them on Facebook and how I got them to, 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 to schedule an appointment with me. Just day in the life of little things that I was doing to build my agency and get clients, I started documenting that. And I only started putting the video up on YouTube just as another platform to put my video. I mean, there really wasn't more to it than that. And I was not consistent. I would do a video here and there. One thing I did do though, is I did stay on topic. So since day one, I've been talking about the same thing, online entrepreneurship, uh, building a social media agency, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. That's something I've been mastering and trying to really crack the code on since 2016, you know, closing clients, reaching out to them, DMing them, all that I've been talking about since day one, right? 2017. But in 2017, I didn't know really what I was doing. I didn't know about the, on, on the proper ways to upload. I didn't know on the fact that you have to be consistent on uploading, on how you have to put tags and, and the end screen and the description and all that stuff, the thumbnails. Like I had if you and I and I kept it real. If you go back to my beginning videos, it's like, dude, they they're so low budget. It's not even funny, and it's not like these are even high um, produced either. Like these videos that I'm doing now, I mean, are still super uncut and raw. But but back then they were for sure. Like the audio was even more crappier than it is right now. You know what I mean? But now I have this blue Yeti, so the audio is a little better. But um, but back then, I mean dude, like I was talking into my computer and my computer mic was horrible. Um, and to tell you the truth, to really keep it real, that same computer is what I'm on right now. Like I use the same damn computer. So to get to your first 1000, to get to your first 2000, you don't need anything fancy at all. So I truly believe I'm experienced and I'm qualified to talk about getting to your first 1000 because in 2017, again, I wasn't consistent i didn't didn't know how to how to upload the correct way into 2018 i'm still playing around with it putting up a, a video here and there nothing crazy just another platform to park my content it wasn't until 2019 when i when i came across a mentor and he had about 40,000 subscribers and he and at that point he was making about 7,000 a month in in his youtube adsense Google money, right? YouTube starts to pay you once you reach a thousand subscribers. So this guy was at about 40,000, I want to say, 
at that time. And, and today he's only like at 60,000. So it's not like he's hardcore crushing it like other YouTubers, but it's like, dude, his income is at about eight, 9,000 a month right now. And it's like back then he was at about 7,000 a month. So when I came across him in 2019, it was more towards the middle of 2019. And he was, he was talking about how he did it and his strategy and every step and the way he uploads. And I ended up getting this course from him, very inexpensive course, which is exactly what I'm going to do right here. Um, this will be a very inexpensive course, but, um, once I started implementing his tips and strategies and uploading the right way and being consistent on my uploading and, and knowing how to put the end screen and all that thumbnail stuff, that was more towards the end of 2019. That's when my channel blew up. So I, I ended up reaching a thousand subscribers. I think it was in September of 2019. And then October, November, December, I have videos on all of that. So if you go to my YouTube playlist, um, I'm documenting every single month. I'm documenting these deposits that I started getting. I started getting my first YouTube deposit in November of 2019. Made a video about it. The deposit went up in December. The deposit went up in January. The deposit went up in February, March, April, May. Now at the making of this video, that monthly deposit is over 700 a month. And I don't know about you, man, but in this country, in this day and time, in these uncertain times when millions of people are freaking unemployed, when millions of businesses have gone under, and we have no clue on where the hell this economy is headed, an extra 700 a month, dude, goes a long ways. Like, I don't care who you are, dude. And, and so this is obviously not a full-time income for me. This is my side hustle. This is simply documentation. My full-time hustle is my business, my agency, my digital courses. That's what I spend my day on, closing clients, bringing them aboard as social media clients. That's what I, I, I dedicate my daytime full-time hustle to. But this YouTube income, as I'm just documenting what I'm doing, I started doing that. And, and, and again, now today it's turned into a pretty damn good extra income. And I don't take that lightly. That's why I appreciate every single one of you who actually has the nerve to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, dude, and if you got this damn far in the damn video, subscribe. Um, I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency, building a YouTube channel now, and, and really just starting to crack the code on it. And so I want to start teaching people how to get their first 1000. Cause I truly believe that's, that's the first step. That is the game game changer. Once you reach a thousand subscribers, then your channel becomes monetized. Then you can start making money from YouTube. And again, your full-time hustle, your full-time job, whatever that may be, don't quit any of that anytime soon. This is something that you can build on the site. I always tell people like, dude, document your business. If you're a real estate agent, start talking about real estate and start putting these videos up on YouTube. Document what you're doing. So I'm not a huge, you know, advocate of, of go and quit everything you're doing and turn in, into a YouTuber. It's like, no, dude, just freaking build a side hustle through it. And, 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 and if you can focus on these basic fundamentals that I learned, for example, and that I'm going to start teaching you guys, you can build up to a thousand subscribers fast, dude. So in my case, I think I went to, yeah, I ended up hitting a thousand subscribers. And I think in, in September of 2019, um, and then, and then after that, because I was uploading the right way, then I started, you know, growing quickly. The, the income started increasing and every single month, thank God, knock on wood, every single month, man, since that first deposit, which was November of 2019, every single month it's gone up. That income has gone up every single month because now I know how, 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 how to build it. Now I know how to upload end screen, tags, freaking cards, the thumbnail, the, the, the description, all that stuff, dude, is super, super basic. It's super important. It's super simple. And I'm truly convinced that everyone misses it. And, and so that's why I have a passion on teaching the basics. Like I have a passion on teaching the beginner because I truly believe it's that foundation. If you can build a strong foundation, if you can get off to the right, on the right foot, if you can get off to, to a fast start on the right foot, then you just start to build good habits from the beginning. And, and, and had I known what I learned in 2019 on how to start uploading and how to build my channel, had I known that in 2017, holy crap, I'd probably be 10 times further than I am today on this channel. But it's all good, man. It's all good. And, and, and we're going to keep it pushing. So this is the dot com that I just purchased. What I'm going to do real quick is walk you through how I'm going to set up 
my, my, my landing page. And all I'm going to put together, I don't have anything done yet. Zero, no course, no videos, no freaking landing page, no thank you page, no opt-in form, none of that. I'm literally going to take you through everything right now. And it's going to start with the basics. I'm going to set up um, all through Kartra. So if you're new to landing pages or email automation or online marketing, Kartra is what I use for all of that, for my landing pages, for my email autoresponder to sell. So to sell this course, I'm going to do it through Kartra. Um, the membership course, I'm going to do it through Kartra. Um, everything is done through here. My calendars, my video hosting, my, my affiliate marketing. So everything is done through here. So there's a 14-day trial in the description for Kartra. Um, once you set up your account, message me, comment below, let me know you just set up your 14 day trial and I will personally give you my time for free. We'll set up a strategy call and I'll literally help you get off to a fast start. But what I'm going to do right now, I literally just purchased this domain, dude. I just purchased it and I'm like, you know what? Let me share this, this tutorial with my YouTube fam and, and really bring some value. So I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to set up a few things here. So, um, one thing that I'm going to set, or actually, let me, let me just name everything I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up an email list. I'm going to set up an email sequence. I'm going to set up a landing page, an opt-in form, a thank you page. I'm going to also set up, um, and that's it, actually. That's it. That's it. We'll just set up that for now. In fact, you know, I can even set up the product. I'll even set up the product. Um, I'll set up the product and, I'll, and, and, and all I'm going to do you guys is just put, put the blueprint there. I'm going to put, I'm going to put all the components. I'll do all the editing and make it look all pretty later, but I'm going to put the structure in place right now. And that's what I'm going to do literally from the start um, right in front of you guys. So um, I'm logged in. I hit my pages over here to the left. And then this right here is where I can start building everything. And I'm going to start categorizing everything. So you want to drop this, this drop down. These are all different categories that I have different pages for. So um, when you're in the all categories tab, I can see every single page in every single project that I'm building, right? And, it, and, 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 some, and most of you have multiple different projects, right? Like I have you know, web pages for my social media clients. I have web pages for those of you who opt into FB ads for beginners.com. That link is in the description for people who are looking to start with Facebook ads. That's a whole nother category, a whole nother set of web pages. I have another um, set of web pages for my training course. So um, one training course that I have one digital product that I, that I sell at a high price point is to my social media clients. And that's all of these pages right here. So everything is categorized, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to hit the green button and I'm going to literally set up a new category for this, for this new, for this new, um, this new project. And so what I'm going to tie to it, there's, there's a squeeze, like there's all these different categories on the left, squeeze pages, video sales pages, thank you pages. What I'm going to set up for this one, um, because we're not quite, now I can go coming soon because we're not quite ready, right? I'm not quite, I don't have anything done. I'm, I'm going to set up just a skeleton, just a way to start capturing leads. Um, so any of you guys that are interested, the, this new link will be in the description, your first 1000 subs.com. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a base, a basic digital course, a basic video course, a training course, a very inexpensive course that can literally help you explode on YouTube. If YouTube is your thing and I'm telling you, man, I'm not looking for YouTubers. So don't think I'm a YouTuber. No, dude, I'm just an entrepreneur who wants to leverage YouTube to make an extra income. That's it, dude. And, and if that extra income could be an extra 700 a month, which is where it's at today, next month is going to be over 800. It's like, dude, if, if my side hustle can net me that kind of a monthly return, why not? So it's again, those of you that have full-time jobs, those of you that have full-time businesses, real estate agents, whatever, this is just another side hustle. And I tell my clients all the time, I'm like, dude, if you take that same content that you're putting out on social media and you simply park it over here, in a few months, you can hit a thousand subscribers and YouTube can start paying you and that monthly income can, can offset your marketing expenses. So whatever you're paying me for marketing, for FB ads, to run traffic, to manage your landing pages, that monthly marketing expense can literally be your YouTube money. So there's different ways that you can freaking offset your expenses all from this one income alone. And that's how I look at it, you know, 
and 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 so this right here is huge you guys so so i don't have anything put together just yet so i might go with a coming soon page let me um let me think about this and again you're catching me in the very very beginning um there's all these different categories that I can go with. I might end up going with, um, let's see, squeeze page. Um, and again, all this can, I can customize. I'm gonna change out all this stuff. I'm gonna just grab the template um, just as a, as a starting point. But I can go squeeze page. Um, and then what I can always do as well as I can clone any existing pages that I have now. But I think I'm gonna go straight from from the beginning. That way I can just show you guys. That way I can I could just show you guys. You know what? I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna just go with this one. Um, this will be the opt-in page. This will be the opt-in page. And then yeah let's go with that one for the opt-in page. So let me come down. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna grab where did it go? Um, I'll just hit select. This will be the opt-in page, okay? And then I'm gonna hit the green button, launch builder. And this is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, name it. I'm gonna name um, your, what was my damn domain? Your first 1,000, your first 1,000 subs. And I'm gonna just build a whole, a whole category around, around that. So your first 1,000 subs, opt-in. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna hit manage my categories and I'm gonna create a category. So your first 1000 subs, and that's my new category. So now any page that I build around this category will be in this category. So I hit that, I, I create that, and then I'm gonna hit done. Then it's gonna bring, bring me back and then now I can drop it in that category. So I'm gonna scroll down, your first 1000 subs and then select site. I don't need to put it in a site. I'm going to click create. And this is the first opt-in. So what I also want to recommend that you guys do is um, go to Google. Cause this right here is a super, super game changer. And a lot of you guys already have this plugin, but for those of you that do not have this plugin, super game changer, what you always want to make sure on, on your pages as you're building these web pages and, and sales funnels is you want to make sure that your colors are freaking matching. Like don't send me to a, a yellow opt-in page. Like for example, let's look at this page real quick. Let's say for example, this opt-in page, the color is freaking this orange. Like once I opt in, don't send me to a thank you page and the freaking border is purple or there's another button on there and it's freaking lime green. Like, dude, keep the freaking colors consistent, okay? That's super, super important. And so to do that, what I do is I have, I already have it up here in the top right. You see it right here, this color wheel. But that free plugin is Color Pick Eyedropper. Color Pick Eyedropper, and it's a free plugin. So you just click on it right there, and it's gonna bring you to the Google, the Google store, and then you can just install it. It's a free plugin, and it'll sit right here at the top. So what I can do with that is let's say I go to the YouTube, uh, let's go to, let's say I go to YouTube and I want to match that exact red. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on the wheel, the color wheel. Let me make sure I, um, let's not let this first intro video play because it's going to be super loud. So let me go to, um, I can either go, I can either go right here. Watch, for example, look, I hit the color pick. And then boom, I can hover over any color and there is the red. So I'm gonna click on that, copy that. I'm gonna X out and I'm gonna bring that to this color right here. So I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna match this color and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the pencil, the edit pencil, I'm gonna look for the color and I'm gonna paste it in right there. Boom, there goes the red. Okay, and then the background image, let's say, and then also let's grab this one. Let's change this color real quick. And all I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time, you know, showing you all this stuff because this, this is all part of editing and um, it, can, it can be, you know, freaking time consuming. So I'm gonna just walk you through the basics, but le let me show you how I just decorate a page real quick. Um, so I'm gonna come down here, grab my copyright 
make sure, and this is another thing. I have this copyright on majority of all of, actually, I think on all of them, 100% of every damn page I have. Um, and I want to I want to make sure it's uniform. So I want to make sure it's consistent. So I always come to my homepage, grab that one, and then boom, just come over here and just make sure that that is matching. Now, because this is an opt-in page, what I want to do, actually, I'll leave the about us, contact us. I'll leave that. Um, and then that's it. That's all I'm going to put. So what I can also do is I can, let me grab this color one more time, this red. And you know what? I can either grab it there, but what I'm going to do now, since I already have it over here, is I'm going to grab this color code. I'll grab this one. So I'm going to grab that color code, copy that, X out of that. And I want to change these colors real quick. And I can change the little icon if I want rather than a check mark, but I like the check mark, so I'll just leave it. So let's paste that. Got that. Got that. Okay, perfect. So got that. And let's change this last one. And then what I can do is, and here's another thing that I do right away. Right here in the settings, this is the title of the page, right? So that's what I name the page. So by default, that name is also in the page title. The page title is what you see in every tab. So when you go to any website, there's the title in the tab. When people pull up this website, I don't want them seeing opt-in. Right, so I'm going to take it away here, and I can name this. I can completely rename the title, but the page will still remain the same internally, and that's what I see inside of Kartra. But what the general public sees is what's in that title in the tab, and so I'm going to leave it that. Your first 1,000 subs, and then this right here is the description. This shows when you share that link on social media, and that's what you want to do also right here. Let's see if I can choose a YouTube, and I'm going to change it. I'm going to have a completely different image, but let me just show you this. This image is what shows when you go and share it on social media. When you share this link on Facebook, when you share this link on, on YouTube, um, this image pulls and you'll see this image. Now, I'm going to put just something random for now. This won't be the one I, I use, but I'm just doing it just to, just to show you guys because I don't have an image yet, but I'll definitely get one. I'll definitely get one created. So let's go with, let's just go with this one for now. I'll just go with that one for now. I'll select. So I chose it and then I select it and then I hit confirm and then I hit apply. Okay. And what I always do also is I always get in the habit of clicking the green button up here and saving progress. I'll do that every, every five minutes or so because you know, the system crashes on me sometimes and I don't want to lose my work. Right. Um, so that's that for now. And then what I can also do this background image, let me just see if I can just find a random YouTube. And I don't, I don't even think I can use a YouTube image on my page because of obviously trademark, but I'm going to just do it for the hell of it just for right now, just to, um, just to show you guys. So images, I'm going to type in YouTube and I'm going to go to images and let's see if I can just grab, um, a random image that I can put in the background. Um, and what I can also do, let me see. Um, um, and, and this is something I'll get, I'll get customized. I'll get, I'll, I'll get some, you know, I'll reach out to someone on Fiverr. And, and just have them do some some random images for me. But just for the time being, I want to I want to show you how I edit that background image. Actually, you know what? Let me let me see if I can use. Let me see. Let me see what this one would look like. Damn, it's blurry. Shit. That's a cool one, too. Let me go with. Um, Yeah, let's let's see if I can if I can use this one. And obviously, when you're grabbing images off of Google like this, like 
you know, make sure that make sure they're not copyrighted. Um, that's why a lot, like what I'm showing you right now, I, I don't really recommend. I'm just getting a Google image for the hell of it, just so I can put it on this page real quick. So I'm going to come over here, hit this red dot, or red dot, the red freaking button or whatever, icon or whatever, hit edit. And then I'm going to go to background and I'm going to image select and I'm going to upload an image from my computer, which will be that one right there. And then what I'm going to do is simply select it like this other one. It was right there, but I'm going to grab that one, select it. I'm going to hit the confirm. I'm going to click apply. And now that image is in the background. Okay. So it looks a little blurry to me. It looks a little blurry to me. Um, but it's all right for now. It's all right for now. Now this one is more of a, of a vertical image. So let me see if I can find a vertical image real quick. Um, just to, just for the hell of it to put right there. Um, Let's um, 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 I want a vertical image and I could, I think I can search vertical as well, but for the hell of it, I don't, I don't even want to spend time on this. This is just. I'll do that part later. It's all good. But all I do is just hover over it, hit this pencil and change out that image. In fact, let me just see if I can find a stock one real quick. I'm going to hit image selected. I'll type in YouTube, YouTube. I'll just put that one for the hell of it for right now. Okay, so hit that one and then I'll hit confirm. And then what I'm gonna do is click apply and there goes that image right there. So obviously that won't be the image, right? I'll change it up, but um, that's, that's, that's step one, man. That's step one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, hit this save progress. And keep in mind also, you guys, the, this is a landing page, right? I'm gonna be driving traffic to this, to this opt-in page. But just keep in mind, the landing page is not your website. So don't think you need to make this damn page look all super pretty. Now, do you look, need to make it look some type of attractive? Kind of. But it's like, dude, I've, I follow seven and eight figure online marketers. And when I click on their ads, they take me to the most plain, boring, white background landing page. Like I freaking laugh many times when I'm seeing ads on YouTube or ads on freaking Facebook and I'm hacking them, I'm clicking to see where they're taking me and I'm opting into their shit so I can, you know, find out what they're doing and, and how they're upselling me and all this stuff. Right. I'm like, damn dude, that's, and, and, and you know, what's so crazy is that in 2016, when I really came online, I started an agency. I started really online marketing, affiliate marketing, and really learning, learning about more of this. It was, it was from Ty Lopez. Shout out to Ty Lopez because in 2016, when he started getting on the radar, because that's when he was running ads after ads after ads, selling his social media agency course to literally tens of thousands of people. I invested in that back then. I learned a lot from that back then. But it was when I started seeing his stuff when I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Like you're making that much money because I, I know the numbers, like love him or hate him. That guy crushes it. And when I started looking at all of his material, I'm like, damn, dude, like your stuff is basic, like basic web page, basic opt-in form, basic everything. Like I'm like, and then I end up logging into his course. I end up purchasing the, cor purchasing the course, logging into the course. And I'm like, damn, dude, this shit is basic. Like I'm talking about the, the aesthetics of it. I'm talking about the way it looks like plain white, no freaking personality, no freaking design that's what i'm talking about like i'm like wow dude like you're crushing it and there ain't nothing fancy about your stuff at all and, and so that's what i try to bring over here to youtube especially in these videos that i produce every day ain't nothing fancy about them like i don't even know how to edit like you know nothing fancy and for some reason people are attracted to that 
and shout out to every single one of you who have subscribed. Um, and again, if you've gotten this far, freaking subscribe, dude. I'm dropping knowledge on social media marketing, building an agency, affiliate marketing, building these damn funnels, and, and trying to really keep it simple and bring value. So subscribe if you haven't already, man. Drop me a comment below. Let me know you're here. Um, so I don't want to try to make this too, look too fancy. That was my point. Don't think you need to make this look too damn fancy. Um, basic is, is always you know, better, you know, especially when it comes to a landing page. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply hover over this. Now we got the landing page, right? We got the basic landing page. What I need to do now, okay, and also another thing is I always make sure I title that page, right? I'll add some description, some keywords later, but that title is what I want in right away. What I also do is I make sure that my pixel, my Facebook pixel is on that page right away as well. So I'll grab the pixel later. I need to set up a whole new ad account for that, but that right there is, is, is normally what happens right away as well is I'll put a pixel on this page so from day one i can start creating a custom audience of everyone who lands here because as you see this link in the description watch click on the link and by then i'll have that pixel tracking you guys and i'll have that custom audience of all the all of you who actually land on the page x amount are going to land here x amount are going to opt in and that's what my facebook pixel is tracking all of that right so here's what i want to do next is i want to click on this i want to simply hit the edit and I want to add an opt-in form. So I'm going to click on link and a, a, a button can take me anywhere. Like I can go to another Karcher page. I can go to a, a, to a, to an external page. I can scroll to the, when I click on a button, it can scroll me down to a, a particular section. I can download a file. I can have an opt-in form pop up. I can have a, a, a product checkout. So, so many different options, right? I can link it to a calendar. I could I can I can edit the word the text and say rather than download your copy it could say click here to schedule a call whatever I want right and and right when they click it goes to my cart or calendar so in this case obviously I'm gonna go with a pop-up form and if I scroll down there's all these templates that are already designed for me so all I got to do is just pick a template and then just work around it so I'm gonna go with this template down here which I I, I actually ended up falling in love with, and I'm using this for a lot of my different pages. It's this one right here. Click on it, drag it over, drop it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply um, change the color, and then I'm gonna change the image in the background. So I'm gonna click on the red button, click on edit, and I'm gonna go to uh, image, select, and I'm gonna choose that same image that I have for uh, the background on the, on the page. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna click on that, that becomes the background. So boom, just like that, now we got this, and, and it has a shade, a tint of that blue, which I'm gonna leave. So it actually looks really good. So um, I'm gonna change up this real quick. I'm gonna go um, a beginner's guide, a beginner's guide to reaching your first 1,000 subs. Okay. Seven things. Seven things to help explode your channel. Seven tips. Seven strategies. And I'm just making this shit up right now, you guys. But I'll come back in and, and edit if needed. Seven, but it, damn shit. I mean, it sounds kind of good. Seven strategy, and I don't even know the damn seven yet. But I know there are there are steps. So the way I'm going to design my course, I already have it in mind. There's steps, like step one, step two, like everything is, is steps, right? So whether it's it ends up being seven or ten or fifteen, whatever. But I'll just say seven for now. Seven strategies to help explode your YouTube channel. Okay. And then down here, I'm going to put no spam, no sharing. I'm to no spam, no sharing. I'm too stingy. I'll put no spam, no sharing. I'll just leave it like that for now. And then here's the opt-in form. So here's what I'm going to do. This opt-in form, I, I'm going to create one right now because I don't have an opt-in form for it yet, right? So I'm going to create opt-in form right there. And then this one's going to be your first 
1,000 subs. That's the opt-in form, okay? And then I'm gonna click on Create. I'm gonna click Apply. And it will show an error right now because I need to go configure the opt-in form. And configuring the opt-in form is simply tying a thank you page to it, which is what we're gonna set up next. So we got the opt-in page, we got the form. Now we need to set up a thank you page because as people go and put in their name and email, Kartra wants to know where do they go next. So when they put their name and email and they click on submit, which is right here, um, where do they go next, right? I can, I'm gonna change this text, um, click here, to watch or um, enter web class here. And then I'm gonna change that yellow color of the button and I'm gonna make it match the red of the icon over here. So let's go back. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Let's, and again, I can keep doing that, but sometimes when you hover over a color, you end up getting a, a slightly different code unless you freaking know the exact dot you freaking clicked on. So a lot of times I don't do it that way. I don't keep going back over unless, unless, unless it's a, a big shade of blue like this, but this little red icon, you know, I'm going to, so here, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Actually, you know what? Let me just let me just grab it. Let me just grab it here because if I go back, I gotta. Yeah, let me just do it here real quick. So let's just make sure this is the exact, which obviously it should be. Yeah, that's the same one. F F zero 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 zero. Perfect. Okay, so cool. So I'm gonna do this. That right there becomes that. The color of the text I want it to be white. So I'm gonna come up here. It's gonna be that, and then the button shadow. I'll put large, and then the side the corners i want it to be round so i'm going to click apply let's x out of that and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit done actually you know what let me see if i can yeah i can save this section so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save this section and then i'm gonna add it to the bottom button so let's save that real quick so you can save sections, you can save the entire page, you can clone everything, you can save the footer, you can save the header, which allows you to just leave it, you know, freaking and, and keep it simple to just transfer to the next to the next page or whatever. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna simply X out of that. That one is done. So I'm gonna click on done. And then I'm gonna come down to the bottom button, click on edit. And I'm gonna simply grab this link over here where's the damn um actually you know what let me see if i can um because i saved it so let me see here we go bam right there there's my my saved template so all i'm gonna do is click it drag it over and bam it's the same exact one perfect okay cool a beginner's guide to reaching your first 1,000 subs. Seven strategies to help. Seven strategies to help explode your YouTube channel. Bam! Same opt-in form. No spam. No sharing. Okay. Click done. Come up here. Save progress. So we got the we got the opt-in page. We 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 somewhat set up the form. We we changed the title of the tab, which is super important. Um, and then we publish live. And then here's what we're gonna do now. Here's what we're gonna do now. This right here is my default Kartra URL, right? Now you can add your own custom domain to Kartra, but for each domain, it's like another $10 a month. So all I have is one domain and that's for my main, main project, which is my digital course, okay? So if I hit this and for my book, if I hit this, there is my custom domain that I have integrated into Kartra. Now, again, I have many different projects, one for FB ads for beginners, one for inspired digital, another project for this new YouTube 1000 sub thing that I got going on. So I don't want to keep adding my custom domain. Here's my custom domain over here. I don't really need to keep adding that because what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use the default one. I'm going to use the Kartra one and I'm going to simply put your, what was my shit again? Your first, your first 1000 subs. And I'm going to simply use that, man. I'm going to leverage that because no one cares, dude. Here's, that's the thing. Unless I'm hardcore advertising and I'm putting the domain on something on my, um, on my 
in the, in the website fields of my social media platforms, right? Your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, in the website field. If I'm putting my domain, my custom domain there, then that obviously matters. But in this case, when we're just driving traffic, like, dude, we're not caring what, what, the, what the damn URL is. Now, here's what I, do, what I do know, though. We do care what the root domain is. So, so, yes, go and get a custom domain, which is what I did. But here's how I do it. I simply leverage the Kartra one. So I'm going to grab that URL. That's the one for the actual opt-in page. I'm going to come over here to, to GoDaddy, and I'm going to simply forward it to that page. Next, finished, and that is it. So now, as people go to your first 1000subs.com, so you're going to see that link right in the description. As you go to that, it's going to forward to this page over here. Okay? So once you get to this page, I can mask it and where it only shows your first 1000subs.com or not. Like for example, let's 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 test it right now. So if I go to www.yourfirst1000subs.com, look, it forwards straight to this URL. This is my page in real time. Boom! Download your copy. There's the opt-in form, and we're gonna update that that form right now. But that's the page in real time. Okay. Now again. All you seen branded on social media, on my cover photo, in the link, whatever. All you seen was your first 1000subs.com. That's what you see in the description. As you click on it and come over here and you see this URL, who cares? Like, you don't care. I don't care. Like, who the hell cares? Like, once you click on the damn name, so yes, get the custom domain, which is how I showed you, get it for the buck or whatever, or however you want to do it, whatever. Get that. Brand that name everywhere for sure. But don't worry about having to add it to Kartra. Like I wouldn't. Like I wouldn't. I have so many different domains that I just have simply forwarding to a Kartra page. Now you look at the top. Look, this is the tab, your first 1,000 subs. So boom, we changed that. Now everything looks legit. So here's what we're going to do now. Here's what we have to do. We have to set up that form, which we have to set up a thank you page first. So now we got the opt-in page, right? We got the opt-in page. Let's exit out of this. So we, we say progress, we publish live, and then we exit, okay? So now if I come over here by default, when I click on my pages to the left, I'm going to be in all categories. But if I hit that drop down and I go find my new category, bam, there it is there. So that's your first 1,000 subs opt-in. Now let's set up your first 1,000 subs thank you page. So I'm going to come over here to the thank you pages and just look at any of these different templates. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking them to an actual, um, 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 webinar. So, so right when you opt in, boom, you're going to go straight to a freaking presentation. That's how I'm going to set this up. It's a, it's a VSL, a freaking video sales, you know, letter, and you're going to opt in and you're going to go straight to a freaking presentation. Now, depending on when you're watching this, I might not have this part set up yet because I'm going to take some time and freaking develop this over the next, you know, let's just say few weeks. But again, I'm just putting the template together right now. Um, and I'll go with, um, I can go with any of these. I can change the colors and all that stuff, obviously. But I'm going to go with, um, let's just go with, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be thank you pages. I can go to video sales pages and I can make one of these be my, my, uh, my um, thank you page, which is what I'll do. Let me look at this one. Perfect. I'm going to just grab this one. I'm going to grab this one. Um, and, 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 and call it a day. Let me see these other ones. Yeah. So let's just, let's just grab, let's just grab this one real quick. Let's hit select launch builder. We're going to put it in a category. We're going to name the page. We're going to put it in your first 1000. We're going to name the page. It's going to be your first um, 1000 subs. Thank you page. Okay. And then um, no site in particular, click create. And then here's what I'm going to do on the actual um, tab. So for the tab, and this is what I, again, this is the, the, you know, the, the, the good habit to have, you know, the moment you freaking 
you know, set up a page. I'll straight go in and change that tab, the title right away. Um, and that's just kind of the habit that I, you know, that I happen to adopt. Um, SEO parameters, because if I don't change it, it's going to say thank you page, right? And I don't want it to say that. I'm going to, I'm going to put um, web class, web class in progress because it's going to be a web class. And down here, I'm not going to worry about the description, the keywords. I'm not going to worry about an image. I'm actually going to hide from search engines. I'm going to click apply because this is the, the actual webinar. So I don't need people sharing this. I don't need this page showing up on freaking search engines. Like no one's going to see this page unless they opt in. So that's the cool part is that I can, I can, I can change that. So let me, let me see if I can add that image. Let's try to keep everything uniform and I'm going to go to the background and let's see if I can, let's see what this looks like real quick. If I just add that same image that I have on the opt-in page. So if I click on apply, see it's, it's there in the background. Now what I can do is I can change the image op opacity. I can go 10% and I can go down to 50%. Look what happens. It shows up even more, right? It's in the background. It shows up even more. Let's go 100% and see what it looks like. Click apply. Now again, it is it is blurry. It is a little blurry, and I don't really like that. And and I'll change it later. But let's 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 see if I can bring it down. I'll leave that for now. I'll leave that for now. Okay. So that becomes a freaking background, dude. And now this bottom part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply get rid of this footer because I have a footer that I use for everything. So if I get rid of that and I come to, I think it's, um, let's go to components. Actually, let's go to sections and then I can go to favorites. So right here, favorite blocks right here. I'll click on that. And then this should show my footer, which is the one that I use for all of my pages, which is this top one right here. Okay, so um, that's the one that I want. Okay, so boom. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna click and drag it down. So now that they opt in, I don't put this on, I just drop here, bam. I don't put that footer on the opt-in page because you don't want too many things on the opt-in page. You don't want too many buttons. You don't, you don't want too, many, too much information. You want to keep the attention focused on the one damn button, the red button. Click on the damn button, opt in. All the attention, 1,000% of the attention needs to go to that one red button. It doesn't need to go to freaking my social media icons. Like if I'm driving traffic to that opt-in page, it ain't driving it so your attention can go all of a sudden go to my Twitter and you click on my Twitter and then you're freaking watching freaking things on Twitter. Like none of that you'll get exposed to where else you can find me after you opt in. Okay. So that right there is what I do and how I do it. And then, um, again, the privacy policy that that was showing on the opt in and that's fine, but I'll, I'll leave that there for now. Um, and then down here, I like the way all this looks. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. And then here's what, here's what I also do. So, um, this blue button, I'm going to simply change that, um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply, I'm going to change, I'm going to change the color. Let's change the color of the text. Let's change the color of the text from white. And we're going to change the color of the text to red. And then we're going to change that blue. Let me get an actual white. So this right here, I'm going to hit the color pick eyedropper. I'm going to hover over and I'm going to grab it. It's F, 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 F. Okay, X out of that. Come over here and I'm going to paste in that color. So now hit apply. Bam, there goes that. Okay, so I'll leave it at that for now. That's fine. And then let's see if I can um, center, medium, full width. Um, button type, button shadow. Let's go large. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Just add a little shadow to it. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then what they, what's going to happen is when they click on that button, then I'm going to pop them. Then it's going to pop up a checkout, pop up a check, a product checkout. Okay. 
Now we got to add this checkout first, but that is what's going to be next. Okay. So that is that. And then here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I don't need a logo. I don't care about the logo, but this is going to be um, how to, how to explode. How to ex, ex how to explore your YouTube channel and get your first one thousand subscribers fast. How to explore your YouTube channel and get your first 1,000 subscribers fast without paid ads, spam bots, spam, spam bots, or without paid ads, spam bots, or previous okay okay so i'm gonna leave that i'm gonna leave that i'm gonna leave that and here's what i'm gonna do okay so this is where my video would go boom they go to the opt-in page they opt in they come in here um and what i can do is i can go um i'm going to i'm going to clone this line and i'm going to put down here do not refresh page or web class will end. Do not refresh page or web class will end. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. And then what I'm going to do is, okay, so based on however, let's say it's a 60-minute presentation, okay? Here's what's super powerful. Let's say it's a 60-minute presentation. What I can do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this, okay, so from this point on, so let's look at the columns real quick. Okay, so we got this, this column up here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Go back to components, show columns. Okay, so all that is in that column. Okay, so not show columns. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's say, for example, the web class is 60 minutes, okay? This is all they're gonna see. So all they're gonna see is they're gonna see the title, they're gonna see the video, but from down, from this point down, they're not gonna see that until 50 minutes in, okay? Or let's say 45 minutes, whatever. So I can delay it, delay this section on every visit. I can delay it and it's by the seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to, let's say it's a 60, a 60 minute presentation, 45 minutes divided by, divided by 60 seconds. Actually, wh wh wait a minute. How, what is, how do you do the math on that? It's freaking, um, yeah, right, 45, 45 minutes divided by 60, is that 750 seconds, 750 times 60 is 45, so it's 70, it's seven, I think it's 700, let, let's do the math, I mean, let's just freaking Google the damn thing, because we have to put in the seconds, how many, and you guys are probably laughing at me right now, but shit, dude, my math is horrible. How many seconds are in 45 minutes? Okay, shit, I was way off. So 2,700. So here's what I'm going to do. So over here, I'm going to put 2,700. So that bottom section is not going to show up until 2,700 seconds in, 45 minutes, okay? Okay. So they're going to focus on just my freaking presentation. And in 45 minutes, if they even get that far, then they see the offer. Okay. Then they see the offer. And that would be right here. Sign up today. And that would pop up a checkout form and boom, 
there is a course sale. And again, this is going to be a, a, a low ticket because I don't, I don't need to charge a lot on this, nor do I want to charge a lot because I'm going to be teaching the beginner, teaching you how to get your first 1000, how I did it and, and how they can do it real fast, right? Faster than I even got it. Um, so it's going to be a very low ticket course, but it's, I mean, but shit, man, it's still, it's still going to be a digital course. And that's what I'm in business for, right? Monetizing my knowledge and, and, and sharing it with as many people as possible. And if the damn thing was free, you guys wouldn't take advantage of it. So there has to be some type of freaking, you know, price to it. So that's the thank you page. Now, here's what I'm going to do. We, pub we save progress. We publish live. We're going to return a dashboard. I'm going to finalize that opt-in form tie it to the thank you page and then I'm going to set up the product real quick and we're freaking good. So now I'm going to come to the to the to my forms and as I did it in the opt-in page, here is that form. So now I'm going to hit the three dots, I'm going to click on edit. There's the title of the form which is fine, your first 1000 subs. And then I'm going to come over here and just simply finalize it. And over here I can add I can ask for, you know, a ton of information on the opt-in, but if you're capturing leads the least information the better first and e first name and email is is all you all you want and all you need you know as that person as you develop you know a rapport as you you know build a relationship with that lead and that individual and as you continue to bring more value then you can ask for more information in your email sequence for example or through the emails that you start to send out but up front nine out of actually well shit 10 out of 10 people ain't gonna know you so don't try asking for a freaking address phone number social security number like don't ask for none of that shit up here like first name email that's it i know many many marketers who only ask for the damn email um and and they get a high opt-in rate but the only reason why i don't do it that way i want at least your your first name i don't need your last name because if anything you're gonna you're gonna put your last name in in the checkout form when you purchase the damn product, right? So I don't need last name right now. But the reason why I don't just ask for email is because as I start to send you emails, I like using your first name. And so if you're on any of my email list, you, you hear me call you out by your first name all the time. And people love that. They love hearing their first name, right? It's more personal. So first name email is what I ask for. I can always hit new field and ask for more, but I don't recommend it at all. I'm going to save in next. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go to, um, um, I'm going to go to, and I'm going to leave this one single opt-in, um, not double opt-in because I'm taking them straight to a, to a presentation, straight to a webinar. So I'm going to go single opt-in. That's fine. I'm going to hit save. And then here is where we put our thank you page. This is the success page. So I'm going to go Kartra pages, uh, no site in particular, and I'm going to scroll down and look for that 1,000 thank you page, which is right here. So your first 1000 subs, thank you page. I'm going to hit save. And now our form is ready to go. Um, sending a welcome message that I don't need to send out. Um, list, I definitely want to add them to a list and I'm going to create the list right here. So I'm going to hit create new list. And this is going to be your first 1000 subs. Your first 1000 subs. Um, let's call this one, um, web class reg, 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 registrants, Okay. Your first 1000 subs, uh, web class registrant. That's fine. I ran out of characters, but that's cool. And then I'll put, thank you. This is the public description. Thank you for attending thank you for attending your first 1000 subs web class and this right here shows when they go to unsubscribe so if you pull up any of your junk mail and you go to unsubscribe if they're a legitimate company they'll take you to the unsubscribe and 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 there'll be a a title of whatever list you were on okay so that's what this is thank you for attending your first 1000 subs web class click uh, create and then what i'm going to do is hit add and then what i'm going to do also is i won't subscribe them to a sequence here i'll set that up on the back end which i'll show you um and then i'm going to click save and then i don't need any of that um 
I will use a, 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 the form in another Kartra asset. So I'm going to use that one, a Kartra form, save, save and next, finish. Now, if I come over here to my communications, I go to the list, there is the new list. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a sequence. So as they opt in, they go to that list, right? As that person watches the webinar or does not watch the webinar, that's, that's the sequence. So for over the next few days, and, and so here's the deal. They either watch it and don't buy. They either opt in and don't watch it, or they end up opting in, watching it, and buying. Those are the three categories, right? So based on what happens, let's say they do not buy because most of them aren't going to buy right away, right? So they opt in, they watch the web class, but they don't buy right away, okay? Large percentage are not going to buy right away, and that's totally normal. But they watched it, or they didn't. They opted in, right? They either watched it, or they didn't, right? So for the next few days, they're going to get an email. They're going to get an email getting them back to watch it, or they're going to get an email getting them to buy if they watched it in the, in the beginning, right? So over here in the sequences, I already have a powerful sequence that is already set up based on tags, based on, on if they watched it or not. So all I have to do is simply come over here and clone it. And all of that's going to come over to this new freaking um, um, sequence. So your first 1,000 subs web class, and I'm going to name this one four days left, just like the other one, four days left four days. Um, I'll edit that later. Thank you for attending. Thank you for attending. Thank you for attending your first 1000 subs web class. Okay. Web. I thought that said web ass. Okay. Web class. Thank you for attending your first 1000 subs web class. Okay. Your first 1,000 subs web class, four days. Okay, damn, that T won't fit. It's all good. Okay, so hit clone. Bam. Now I got my sequence in place. The blueprint is there. It came from my other campaign. And all I got to do is go in there, create the tags, and edit the text. Um, but at least the template and the blueprint is already there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the starting rule. So now this is what I have already set up. So all I do is I create it once and I clone it, clone it, clone it for multiple campaigns. And so over here, this split is based on if they watched it or not. So they're going to, they're going to, so the opt-in, let's change the starting rules. The opt-in in this case is for a different campaign. So let's get rid of that one. And we're going to put in the opt-in for anyone who opts in to your first 1000 subs. Okay. That's the opt-in right there. Okay. That's the opt-in. So we click on add and anyone who opts in is going to go down to this sequence. One hour later, the system is going to check if they have the tag of watched the web class. Now, again, this is from my previous campaign. So this one right here is TSREA finished web class. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that, create a new campaign for your 1000 finished web class. That's what it's looking for. So one hour later, the system automatically is going to see a split. Did they watch it? Do they have that tag of watching it? Did they reach the 45 minute mark or did they not? And if they did not, they go to the false side. Okay. So they watched it true. They did not watch it false. And depending on that, boom, I have a handful of emails that I'm obviously going to have to re re rewrite, but it's all good. Everything is already here. And, and, and this is my blueprint. So um, the true side is designed to get them to purchase. The false side is designed to get them back to watch it because they did not hit the 45 minute mark. They were not tagged as far as watching the web class. So this false side is, is designed to get them back to watch it. And then at the very end, the automation is to, is to unsubscribe them from that sequence and put them onto a completely different list if they did not purchase or if they did not watch it after freaking five days of me telling them, Hey, get, get your ass back to watch it. If they didn't, then they're still tagged. They're going to go on a completely different list. So that is my sequence. You guys, 
that is super powerful. So um, let's go ahead and end it here. That's pretty much it, man. And, and you know what? Actually, the product. This let's let's finish it here. Let's let's create this product really really quick. And I think I I can add another product. Hopefully, I'm not maxed out. Your first 1,000 subs. Okay, so this is going to be the main product. I'm not going to have an upsell or a downsell. It's just pretty straightforward. Um, boom, I can create it. Hell yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply grab a quick logo. Um, and, and, and at the same time, I don't even think I can use the YouTube logo, but I'll use it for right now, whatever, just for the sake of this example. Official name, your first 1,000 subs. Your first 1,000 subs. And I'll just leave that as the description. How to explode. How to explode. Okay, so keep it private. I can list it publicly, publicly in the marketplace, which is where all the Kartra users will see it and they can purchase it or they can become affiliates and offer it to their people. But I'm going to leave it private for now. And this is where I'm going to put a quick little logo. So let me just, um, let me grab a logo real quick. And again, I don't, I don't even think I can use this when I do start really crushing this product and selling it. But I'll just use it for, for right now. Let me just see if I can grab... Um, let's grab, um, transparent logo. Okay. So I'll just grab, I'll just grab this one for now, dude. No big deal. Whatever. Actually, that's kind of weird. Let's grab this one. Actually, I don't know if I can do that background. Let me see if I can. Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. Okay, so hit downloads and let's just add this really quick to this. Oh shit, that black part. Let's see if I can, oh, okay, perfect, I can crop it, awesome. Okay, so confirm, bam. Looks a little blurry, but I'll, I'll change it later. And then boom, I can hit save. And then what I can do is I'm gonna connect it to my PayPal and my credit card, okay? Which right here in my integrations, that's a whole nother video, um, but that's where you would integrate your PayPal and your credit card. Okay, now I already have mine created, but shit, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know you, you guys, so I'm not gonna show you my key code right here, because if I click on this and I hit, actually, you know what? In the, in the PayPal one, it doesn't show much. It just shows my damn email, that's fine. Okay, so, and then the credit card, it shows my damn key code, so I'm not gonna show that. I'm gonna hit save, and I'll just hit save and X. I'll come back to the credit card when you guys ain't here one time and lifetime access can be the description and done, 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 done. What am I going to price this damn thing at? Again, I told you it's going to be low ticket, but it ain't going to be seven bucks. So don't, you know, don't get it twisted. Don't get too damn excited. I'm going to sell this. I could go 47 bucks. I could go 49 bucks, but I'm gonna really put some value into this damn course, man. And again, it's for the beginner. So it's not for you advanced people. You know, it's for the, the beginner. And I truly believe that a person that wants to start a YouTube channel or wants to start anything and they're a beginner and they want to be led by someone who has already achieved the goal. And it's not like I'm a crazy YouTuber. It's not like I have 400,000 subscribers, but shit, I have a little over a thousand and that's what this is all based on how to get your first thousand, right? So what I'm going to price this at dude is 97 bucks. I'm going to price it at 97 bucks set at, as default price. I'm going to hit save and boom, that's that. Okay. And then all that's tied up or, or all that's ready to go. So I'm going to hit pages and then this is going to go product page. Kartra page and I'm going to just make this one. Um, actually, you know what I do need to do is I do need to set up a sales page. 
So in this case, I'm showing you two pages. I am going to set up. I am going to set up an actual third page, which is my sales page. I am going to set up that one, but for now, I'll just put it. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm going to do that is because I'm going to be running Facebook ads for this. And I need that third page. I need that separate sales page. Remember, all I have here now is the opt-in page and the thank you page. On that thank you page is the video page, right? That's the webinar. But as you click on that button to go and purchase, I don't want just a pop-up checkout to pop up. I want you to go to a third page, which is the actual sales page. And the reason why that's so important is because I need to track that page. That is the add to cart page. I need a Facebook conversion set up around that page. I need a Facebook custom audience set up around that page. Everyone who clicks on that purchase button, I need to be able to track them. And that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it is sending them to a third page. So anyone who lands on this third page is, is in my custom audience of ad added to cart. So in this, in this example, I'm going to just put the opt-in page there. And then the thank you page is obviously the thank you page. And I'll put I'll put this right here, the thank you page. I'll hit save. I'll hit save. And then save and next. Okay, so for right now, your page, look and fill. There's the cart. I'm going to do an overlay pop-up um, for right now. And it's also going to be like that when they go to the third page. But And then I'll do, I'll do express checkout. Yes, activate one click. So that's for any past, you know, customer. The system tracks whoever has been to my page, whoever has bought, right? The artificial intelligence inside of Kartra is absolutely insane. So this just allows them to check out much faster if they've been through any of my checkouts before. Um, the system remembers all their information. I'll do cart abandonment later. Terms and conditions, I'll go yes. Actually, no, I'll go no. They don't got to require, I don't need them to click on a damn button. So save and next and then post sell. This is going to be, um, and then also, okay, so here's what I got to do. I'm going to set up a whole nother list. This is going to be um, um, your first 1,000 subs students. I could put buyers, I could put whatever, right? But I'm going to put students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being an awesome. Thank you for being an awesome student. And again, this is its own list. So if anyone opts out, right? If anyone unsubscribes, that's what they're going to see. So I'll click create. So now all my buyers are going to go onto this list right here. I could tag them, which I'll set up tags later. That's a whole other video. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, um, you know, take much more of your guys' time right here. But this one right here is going to be a Kartra membership. Now, the membership, again, isn't created just yet, but it would be right here. So all I would do is I would just click on that and then, boom, have that access level right there. Check the access level. And it's so right when they purchase, they automatically get access to this Kartra membership. The system emails them the login information, their username, their password, and boom, they click on it and they can log into your membership. So those of you that are using Kajabi or Teachable or Thinkific or whatever the hell you, however the hell you pronounce that one, for, for, for courses, for membership courses, I'm telling you, man, you're juggling more software services. You're paying much more than you need to on a monthly basis. I do everything through Kartra. So there's a 14-day trial, man, profitwithkartra.online. But my entire membership course will be inside of Kartra. So when they purchase, they'll have automatic access to that. And I'm going to just put this for now, just so I can show you guys as the example. And I'll just put save. But that will be, you know, the YouTube course, obviously. Advanced automations, I don't need to worry about that right now. Um, and then affiliate programs, I can allow people. So now that now when people purchase the course, they can start referring it to their friends. And when their friends purchase, they make a commission. So I can do that if I want, but I won't set that up now. And then that is it. So you guys, here's what we created. 
we created a whole new product, right? We created a whole new product. It's going to be this one right over here. Bam, that's the whole new product right there. Okay. Um, and then we created a list. We created two lists. We created your first sub students, and then we created uh, web class registrants, people who'd simply register. And then what we created is a simple sequence. When they opt in, if they do not buy, that sequence is based on tagging the people who watched X amount versus the people who did not. And based on what activity that person takes, they're going to receive emails, create an urgency to get them back, to get them to purchase or to get them to freaking buy. Okay. That's the sequence. And then what we created was um, pages. And here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply go down to my um, course that I have, which is the training course, my previous training course. And I have a checkout right here. This is the third page that I'm referring to. Okay. So this, this is the checkout for my other course. Okay. When they click purchase, it takes them to um, a checkout page. This third page, this independent page is so important. So you can create a custom audience and a custom conversion around. Okay. We need to know who lands on the add to cart. And I have a timer on this. Hopefully it doesn't time me out. Okay, cool. So we're good. Okay. So this is its own third page, right? Carter page. This is the add to cart. So as people come to this page and they click on, they watch the video, they click on purchase now, boom, it brings them here. Now, as people come here, there's going to be X amount of people that, that, that don't proceed. There's going to be X amount of people that do not continue. Right. And again, that's okay. I tracked them. That is a retargeting campaign that I would then run on Facebook because now I know who landed here. Not only do I know who watched the damn webinar, not only do I know who opted in because I created custom audiences around those people too, but this one right here, this person actually is, is a more hotter lead. This is a person that I want to retarget. I want them to see my Facebook ad. Hey man, this is David. I know you were just freaking on the checkout. I know you were about to freaking pull the trigger and buy the damn thing, but hey, what happened? That's a freaking Facebook retargeting ad that I'm going to run to that person, right? So this right here is my freaking checkout page for my other course. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to clone this page to fit my new course. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, and obviously I got to edit everything, right? But I'm going to clone and I'm going to simply name this your first 1000 subs checkout checkout page. And then I'm going to put it in the category. Bam. No site in particular clone. Bam. And then what I'm going to do real quick while I got you guys here is I'm going to simply change the color real quick. Let me just do that. And then we are done. We'll test the damn thing and, um, and call it a day, man. So let's come in here really, really quick. And I'm going to change out that orange. And then also I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to change out the form. So the checkout form, I'm going to change out that. Okay. So let me, let me show you what this is going to look like. Okay. And that's a, yeah, don't, that's a bogus, bogus number. So don't worry about the phone number there, but Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to um, go back to YouTube real quick. Let me grab that color code on the logo real quick. Let's click hover over the icon. Bam, there's that same color. X out of that. And then let's change out this, this orange real quick. So I'm going to hover over that, click on the pencil and change this to red. Bam. And then I can even change. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it like that for now. And then boom, I can hover over this, hover over this form. Cause this, this is the checkout form for my other course, right? So if I just hover over that and I hit this drop down, remember I just created the product. So there is the product. Boom. 
select product, it's first 1,000 subs, any price point, because I don't have multiple price points, so price point one is what it is. And I'll go traditional checkout, click apply, and boom, that is it, you guys. So look at the drop down, bam. And then obviously I'll, I'll you know, edit every, all, the, all the text, but here's what we're looking at now. So let's say progress. Here's what I gotta do, here's what I gotta do. Okay, here's what I gotta do. And then we're done. Let's publish live. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, change this real quick. What I did not do is I didn't do what I am preaching to you guys, which is, again, when I first come into a page, I hit settings and change that title. Secure checkout, that's fine. I'll leave it that way. Perfect. And then, okay, so now we're good. We save progress. We publish live. We're going to return to dashboard. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go to the categories. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look for my uh, category, your first 1000 subs. Now I got three pages. This orange will turn to red uh, shortly. Let me refresh it real quick. Bam. Okay. So now we're good with that red. Um, now here's what I'm going to do. Um, and this right here, let me change this real quick because I think I'm going to have to edit that, um, that thank you page because I, you remember how I chose 2,700 seconds for the delay? Um, I think it's, I think I'm going to have to se separate the, the freaking columns because I think it's hiding the entire page. And that's not what I, what I wanted. And I'll fix that later. It's not a big deal, but you guys get the idea of what I'm doing. Let me just change this real quick, just so we can really go through the funnel and, and really test it. Okay. Um, so let me scroll back down. Let me change this delay. I'm going to change the delay and I'm going to change that button. Okay. That button is super important. So let's delay. Let's not delay it. Click apply. And here's what I want it to change. So when they click on that button, rather than a pop-up checkout, they're going to that third page. So I'm going to click on link and I'm going to link to another Kartra page and I'm going to scroll down, no site in particular. And it's going to be the, your first 1000 checkout page, bam. And I can have it open in, in a new tab or I can, yeah, I'm going to open in a new tab. So click apply and then we're good, you guys. That is it, man. So again, I appreciate you guys. For those of you, you know, that freaking 1% that made it this far. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Okay. Please subscribe. I'm getting ready to just light freaking 2020 on fire. We're all going through some crazy madness. These are uncertain times. All I want to do is teach people how to make money online. And this is another hustle, right? So I'm just convinced with whatever you're putting out on social media, the content that you're putting out to build your business, I'm convinced that you need to be doing it on YouTube. Um, that Facebook ad you're putting out, that video ad, put it on YouTube. Those Instagram bullshit stories that you're putting out, make it a little bit more, more long form and put it on YouTube. Same energy, same freaking content, same freaking everything. Just park it over here because I'm telling you, man, in a few months, YouTube will start paying you some money and you'll be happy. You did it. You did it. Okay. So here's what we got now, you guys, let's come down to your one, your first 1000. There are our three pages. Um, we have our forms over here. There's our form. And that is it. So now if I come to the opt-in page, okay, so let's refresh this page and I'm going to come back and edit all this crap later. Um, but here is our opt-in page. We click on the button, enter web class here, bam, we click on that. We go to the thank you page, which is going to be my presentation. A person clicks on this. It takes them to the secure checkout page, which is what we just created. Boom, this freaking secure payment populates and that person can buy that product right there. Bam, you guys, that's how it's done, man. That's how it's done, that's how it's done. And again, because I cloned this page, what also came with it is the Facebook pixel. 
look, page view initiate checkout. So I have a custom audience built around this. Now, obviously I'm gonna grab a different pixel and put it here, but the whole thing is that this third page is super, super important. I'm tracking everyone who went to the opt-in page through my Facebook pixel. I'm tracking everyone who opts in. That's its own custom audience. That's also a custom conversion. But I'm also tracking everyone who comes here, okay? Everyone who comes here. And also, you know what I, what I got to also include was a thank you for purchasing. Damn it. Let me do that real quick. Come to my pages. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to clone. I'm going to clone. So there's four pages, okay? Because as they come to the second, the, the, the add to cart and they kind of purchase, where do they go after that? Okay. Where do they go after that? That is the fourth and final page. So my bad. There's actually one more page that goes with it. And this is this page right here, order complete. All I'm going to do is I'm going to clone that. I'm going to clone that and I'm going to name this your first 1000 subs order complete. Okay. That's the category. We click clone. Okay, perfect. And then what I'm going to do real quick, shit, I'm my bad, you guys. I, I told you from the beginning, this video is going to be longer, but I'm, I'm hoping you got some value out of this because this is, I just set up a freaking six figure funnel, dude. Like let's not call it seven figures because it's a $97 product and I have to sell a shitload of them to make a million bucks. But it's like, dude, we can make six figures off of a $97 product. Don't get it twisted. That is a fact. I literally just put together one right in front of your freaking face. So if you're not convinced on, on, on subscribing to the damn channel, I don't know how in the hell you got this far. If you're not convinced on Kartra, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, so let me, let me finalize. Let me just change the damn color real quick. Let me go back to that. I need that color real quick. So I'm going to grab the color pick eyedropper. I'm going to hover over the icon. Let's grab that red. Copy that. Let's exit out of that. Let's change this color real quick. So again, last custom audience, um, last custom conversion is people who actually purchased. Okay. So those people who land here are obviously in its own Facebook custom audience and also set up as a custom conversion, which allows me to run more effective ads and, and allows Facebook to find me those people who are likely to buy. Okay. And so that's that you guys, that is that let's return a dashboard. That page is what they would go to after they purchase. Okay. And that's the whole funnel, man. That's the whole funnel from beginning to end. You guys, I appreciate the hell out of you guys for those of you who stuck in and watched all that. So now if I come to my categories, I have four pages, okay? The opt-in page, the thank you page, which is the web class page, the checkout page, and then the order complete page, okay? And then in my communications, I have um, students, web class registrants, and the sequence, okay? And then I have the product and I have the form. So that's how you do the damn thing. And look, right there, boom, that's the lead. That, that was my opt-in. That's what I just used to opt-in right now. And it starts tracking everything right here. What I didn't include in this video is the tags, which I'll do, I'll do next, I'll do next. Um, but the tags are super powerful. You come over here, click on, um, and let me just delete this lead because I don't need that lead in there at all. But to create the tags, all you got to do is just come over here, click on my communications, hover over leads and tags. And what I can do is I can simply, in fact, let me just show you right now. Shit, I might as well. Let's just create a whole new tag. So if I come over here to tags, I click on tag. And then this tag is going to be um, your first 1,000 subs web class registrants. Okay. And then tag this tag name and then tag description. I'll just leave that the same. And then category, I'm going to create a new category. So create new category, your first 1000 subs 
and then no expiration. And then boom, you guys, that's how you create a damn tag. Tags are super, super important. Um, especially based on, especially for your email sequence, your email automation. If they watched it, tag them. If they don't watch it, tag them. If they clicked on this email, tag them. If they didn't open that email, tag them. They're, the tags are super, super important. That's what allows you to really categorize and segment everything. So if I come over here, I click on your first 1,000 subs. I'm going to have one for um, web class registrant. I'm going to have one for students. I'm going to have one for um, 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 watched web class. I'm going to have one for did not watch web class. So I'm going to create these different tags and base everything around these tags to make the entire machine spin. All right, guys. So that right there, you guys, from beginning to end, I'm telling you, man, if it's not Kartra, you would literally need five other softwares that come along with five monthly services to do everything I just showed you that you can do in one. All right, so profitwithkartra.online, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.